Jared, uh, I'll ask the first question here. How do you think your sixth senior day is going to compare to your fourth and fifth senior day? <laughs> you know, uh, hopefully we go out there and then get the job done. So I go out on top in a victory in my last game of Folsom Field. Jared, looking at you know your last six years, can can you tell us what's changed not only within the program but the fan base and and everything that's changed for you in the last six years? Oh man, that's that's a loaded question. You know, uh, but you know you've. It's been a lot of ups and downs, you know, especially for me and the things that I've seen, you know, uh, a lot of people weren't a part of that before and couldn't see it. But for me, I've seen the program go up and down and now it's back up again, right? You know, the fans are there supporting us at every game, you know, they're not leaving in the second quarter anymore, you know, so we're, we're grateful for that, you know. And just uh, overall unity in the team, you know, it's been increasing, you know, it's more of a family now again. So it's just, it's been a, a, a change for the better in this past, this past year. Jared, obviously, you know, you don't like to see a teammate go down with uh, with Ryan Moore having the injury, but um, is there something special for you that, that this has allowed you to be able to um, play a lot as you're coming down the stretch here and especially be able to have a chance to play in your last game here at Folsom, play on the defense side? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate what Ryan goes through. You know, I still talk to him every day, and he's doing well now, so I'm happy to hear about that. You know, but, it, you know, it's, uh, I'm really happy that I got this opportunity, you know, especially my, my senior year, go out. I'm starting uh, <clears throat> my last senior game, you know, hopefully my last senior game. But uh, folks feel so it's a blessing, you know, and I'm going to take full advantage of it. So it's your last home okay. game, but you still have two, two more road games after that, and you guys are kind of right there on the brink to meet and win these final three to be bowl eligible, which was the stated goal at the beginning of the year. I guess where is this team's sense of urgency, and can it be even higher than it's been? Yeah, you know, it's a now we know that we have to win these games. You know, so coach has been preaching every day. It's urgency. It's important. You know, it's been a short week, so the intensity is even higher because it's a short week. So we got to prepare even better and with the more intense and more focus. You know, so I mean, it's our like we said in the beginning of the season, it's it's our goal. You know, nobody has lost sight of that. So that's one thing we're still fighting for. If I'm not mistaken, a couple of years ago. Uh, before the USC game, uh, you guys had to move Didi Goodson over from offense to defense to start in the secondary. How has uh, how has your secondary evolved and to where you guys are maybe better equipped to handle the receivers and the speed that they have at USC? Yeah, that was my uh, my sophomore year when I got hurt. They moved Didi over to to DB. You know, and now the biggest difference is we have depth and we're all healthy. You know, we've been able to last a, a whole a whole season. You know, without many injuries. So now that we have the depth and experience back there, you know, it's it's been a a blessing for the defense and, you know, it's helped Coach Levitt in his play calling that he wants to do. Jared, can you talk a little bit about uh, Cody Kessler? He had a pretty good game against the Buffs last year and about what you guys have seen on this year so far. Yeah, uh, he's a good quarterback. You know, he has a great arm. He's mobile in, in the pocket, you know, and he has uh, great athletes on this, on the offensive side of the ball. So, you know, it's important for us to, like any other quarterback, to get pressure on him and knock him off his rhythm, you know. So, I mean, we have to be assignment sound this game, and if not, it can be a long day like it was in previous years. But, you know, we, we plan on going out here. And, uh, coaches have a, a great game plan schemed up for them. You know, we're going to go out here and execute. Jared, six years here, obviously you have tons of memories. Is there any uh, best memories you can pick out or favorite plays that you've made or, you know, favorite games or anything like that? Uh, I mean, anytime you win is always a, a good memory, you know. But, uh, you know, uh, Let's see. Last year, I mean, two years ago, when we played SC. I had a fumble return for a touchdown. You know, so that's a good memory to have for me. Uh, when I had a, that's a Central Arkansas was I had an interception for a touchdown. You know, then uh, what was our last Pac-12 win before Oregon State? What was it Cal two years ago? That was that was a great feeling for the program for myself personally. You know, just anytime we can w get a win, you know, it's always a great feeling. You're a SoCal guy, right? Yes, sir. So, um, is it true that SoCal guys can't stand the cold, and how big of an advantage might that be for you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's fact that nobody from California likes the cold. You know, it's under 60 degrees. We, we got hoodies and sweaters on, but you know, uh, you know, I don't think it's going to be too cold this week on Saturday. I mean, no matter what the weather is, we still have to go out there and play. You know, it's, the weather's not going to dictate the game. It's going to be us on defense and offense side of the ball. That's going to dictate the game. So, like I said before, we have to go out there, execute, do our jobs, and more importantly, not shoot ourselves in the foot like we've been doing in previous games and, and finish. 
Anything else for Derek? All right, thanks, Derek. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Derek.